Hi, you're watching Floyd Steinberg's YouTube channel. Donna asked me if I'd like to review their N25 MIDI keyboard, so let's take a look. Inside the box we find the manual, a USB-C cable, which is nice, and um, the keyboard itself. Let's take a look, let's compare this to some keyboards I have here. This is slightly larger than the Korg Nano keys I usually have on this channel. But it's significantly smaller than, for example, the Reface DX, which itself is a relatively small keyboard. As the name of this keyboard N25 implies, we've got 25 keys here. On the back, you will find a standard MIDI connector and USB-C port. And we also have this joystick instead of mod wheels. And there are also four buttons I will talk about later, which give you access to some of the functions this keyboard has. As you can see here, this keyboard is also slightly higher than the Nano keys, but of course it's much smaller than, for example, the Reface DX. Key quality is okay, as you can see here, some of the keys stick out compared to the others, but I found that's no problem while playing. Compared to the Nano key, there's much more key travel space, as you can see here. Um, but of course, it's less than, for example, on the Reface DX, as you can see here. So let's take a look at what these buttons do. All these buttons work in conjunction with the joystick here. So, for example, let's use the octave transposer here. Press that button and then if you move the joystick left or right, you will switch octaves, while if you move the joystick up or down, it will remain uh, in its function as a pitch bender. Next up is transpose, and instead of transposing by an octave, you will then transpose by one semitone if you push the stick left or right. Next we have sustain. Um, this is a toggle switch, so press it down and sustain is on, and press it once again and sustain will be off. Last but not least, we have the program selector. This is a quite nice feature. You can see those four LEDs in the bottom here. If you push the program selector button, you can then use the joystick to move between four stored programs. And what this will do is, this will send a program change to your synthesizer, and you can change the program which is stored in these four slots here by holding down the program button for one and a half seconds and then it will start flashing. And now um, you can use the keyboard, as you can see there are numbers printed above these keys, and just enter a number and then press the enter key and then this program number will be stored to the slot you have currently selected here. And now you can use the joystick to move between these four programs, and that's quite nice actually. Okay, verdict. What do I think of this keyboard? I personally think this is a quite nice replacement for my Korg Nano keys, as it's in the same price bracket and it's nearly the same size, so I can easily carry it around with me in the bag or something. So if you're searching for a small keyboard, this might be one worth considering. Yeah, and that's it for today. The Donner N25. I like it more than my previous keyboard, but it's up to you to decide if you like this or not. And as always, thanks for watching, and see you again very, very soon. Bye bye!